Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. I didn't post in about a week. There was not much to say. I feel like I covered uh, most of the Shadowgun Legends parts, like the guides, the dungeon guides, arena guides. I did a bit of PvP. I did a lot of uh, weapon reviews and stuff. So last, last week didn't have much to say and I decided to just not post just for posting videos. I want to post when I have something to say. So uh, Shadowgun Legend news today. We got a new event starting in a couple hours. It's the new Easter event. It's the second time because it's been more than a year now since Shadowgun Legends was released globally. Uh, the weapon you see right now is the weapon from the past event that just ended, the Unicorn Week. So this is the A-Hole Killer. I did buy one about one day before the end. Uh, the event ended. And it's got pretty decent perks. Um, it's got uh, damage perks, it's got elite damage, it's got uh, crit damage, but the last perk is pickup radius. Not a big fan of pickup radius. But anyways, today uh, I'm going to talk about the next event. The Easter event is going to be similar to last year. If you guys were playing last year, it's an Easter egg hunt. We'll have to hunt eggs. Uh, the enemies will drop these little eggs that you saw last year. And you collect eggs to get rewards. Something different this time is you're gonna have or you're gonna be able to buy rewards at all shops. Pedro, Willow, and Big Red will have items for you guys. Now here's the rewards for this year event. We'll have new camos at Big Red, we'll have new stickers at Willow, and we'll have a new legendary AR guys. It's uh, Project Ambra MK2. I don't know, someone was right in my chat on YouTube. I said, I don't think it's going to be Ambra. Uh, they said on the my stream we're going to have a reskin legendary. And I think it looks pretty badass. It's already a very beautiful weapon, the Project Ambra. So I don't know if it's going to have different stats. I cannot wait to see. Everyone asking on Facebook, hashtag buff Ambra. So they release a new Ambra. Does it have the same stats? I guess we'll have to wait a couple hours to see. Probably tonight in the shop at Pedro. I will also have new Easter stickers and it's not the same we had last year. The bunny sticker, the egg sticker, the triple egg sticker, we had something similar last year, but I think it's different. Now we'll have three new camos, uh, two new camos. In fact, the, the green one is not the same we had last year with the like the mad rabbits. Uh, the orange one is also different from last year, but the white one, it looks a bit like the one we had. I don't know if it's exactly the same as it has flowers and eggs, but I really like this one. It's really close to the one I used on my samurai outfit last year and I lost it. So cannot wait to buy camos. I'm a fan of camos. And the cool thing with camos is at the end of the event, if you have extra eggs, you can spend it all on something that will last. It's really cool. Now we have two cosmetics. Also the bunny uh, hat, which is not new. And uh, kind of rare, it took me a while to have it. I had it on one of my Spin My Swag episode from the Pedro Wheel. It is in the strong boxes once in a while. The bunny hat is pretty cool and I love it. Reminds me of Dukong. And the last one is the bunny ears and that one is freaking rare. It was only available last year on the Easter event. I never got one in a box. So this time it's not gonna be boxes. It seems you can buy rewards. Uh, in the shops so stickers at one place uh cosmetics at one place now once again it seems like it's a pve event the tournament will drop eggs i don't know if they have anything for pvp yet but that's still a pretty cool event it's gonna last for two full weeks so you'll we'll have plenty of time to farm some eggs and get what you like usually these types of events is more efficient to farm arenas and most of the time the higher the difficulty the more eggs you drop. So depending on your clear times, sometimes it's better to farm a lower difficulty because you clear much faster and you don't have like twice as many eggs if you do the higher difficulty. So if you take 40 minutes to do gold arena, you might just farm bronze or silver real quick. Anyways, guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, it's been a while, but I'm still there. I still play this game every day. It's just, I didn't have much to say. I didn't have much to show. 
and I decided to just not post, but I'm still around, still gonna do YouTube. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment below. Tell me how you guys doing, because it's been a while. And I'll be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care. The show must go on. Unit to SG. Coming low and fast for a halt on extraction. Be ready, sir. Yeah. 